couple of quick ones. One, what's sort of your timeline for making a decision on, on next year, what you want to do? Uh, and then the other one was, since you guys did a bunch of good on good and practices, uh, I don't know how much you matched up against Blake Fisher, but we sort of give an assessment of like where he's at after missing essentially 11 and a half games. Uh, my decision time, I'm not really focusing on that since we're getting closer and closer to the bowl game. But it's definitely going to be before January 17th. That's the, as that's the deadline. It's going to be well before that. But since we're going against one-on-ones and good on good, uh, with Blake Fisher, he didn't uh, have a drop-off at all. He's still the big big Blake Fisher that we know from the first game against Florida State and fall, uh, fall ball and spring ball and everything. But he, had, he didn't have any drop-off as, at all. He's great at right tackle, and he's doing well. It was interested uh, in terms of, I asked Myron and Kurt this, just about how the defense improved midseason and really hit a stride late. Um, and Marcus talked about doing less. How, like, how do you see that show in the defensive line, the pressures you bring? Because um, certainly, I think being exotic and doing a bunch of different things is a strength of how Freeman likes to call defense. But it seems like he realized doing less was, was maybe the way to go with your group. Yeah, we just noticed towards the end of the season that doing less was just the best thing that we we're good at. We just worked our craft at the simple stuff and <clears throat> the simple drills that we we're doing. And we just perfected our craft. And that's just the best thing that was working. And it's been working all the way throughout the rest of the season. This is the last game to show it off. But it's been working throughout the whole entire season. Yeah, with so much extra time to prepare to prepare for this game, do you feel like you have a better read on the opposing offensive tackles than maybe you would on a, on a weekly basis? Yeah, I definitely do. We have probably like three weeks before this game, three, four weeks before this game, a whole month. And we've been watching film over and over, just watching Oklahoma State and uh, their offensive line, their quarterback, running back, just trying to perfect everything that we're doing against them. And we just have like a better read on what Oklahoma State is doing. Isaiah, we've heard uh, Marcus use the phrase uh, with us a couple times, be a football players and not football players. I'm curious if that's something he talks with you guys about. And if, if so, what does that mean? And does that have anything to do with the, uh, the idea about doing less? Or is it just it's kind of a separate saying that he, he likes to use? That's, that pretty much goes with like doing a little bit less. We, rather than football, we have everyone has a gap. We do have everyone has a gap. But with football type of players, you just find ball, get ball. That's the type of defense that we are. We put pressure on the offense, and it's not much of a fit ball as we're more conservative. No, this defense, we're going after them every single play. Uh, I was hoping you could describe a little bit about the energy, what it's like going into this um, game this Saturday, and how does it compare to, uh, you know, these past postseason games that you've experienced? Um, any differences you notice or anything like that? Uh, this is a game of just new beginnings, new beginning with Coach Freeman era. As everyone knows, our new head coach is Coach Freeman. And it just brings more of a hype to this game. It is our, one of Coach Freeman's first game, New York Six Bowl game. It's just great atmosphere as we're coming in as a game to win the game. 